Now for a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Two people have been arrested in connection to the woman found dead in her South Sacramento home last night. 22-year-old Tradion Holmes and 41-year-old Monique Moore now behind bars and will appear in court for the first time early next week. A snowmobiler is lucky to walk away unharmed after he was attacked by a moose. The incident was caught on camera in a rural part of eastern Idaho near Wyoming. The brothers involved in the attack say they wish they gave the animal more space. Some residents in Big Bear think the ski resort should stay closed despite all the new snow. Many stores haven't been able to restock and gas stations have gone days without seeing a tanker truck. The concern is that there's not enough resources to feed the people who live there, let alone tourists. Placer County is asking residents to not cut power lines on their own. The sheriff's office was told by PG&E that some residents are cutting lines to clear them away from their homes and driveways. But law enforcement wants to remind people that this is a extremely dangerous to do on your own and puts PG&E's work at risk. Actor Tom Sizemore passed away last night in his sleep. The actor was taken to the hospital a couple of weeks ago because of a brain aneurysm brought on by a stroke. He was known for his role in Saving Private Ryan. One person was killed after a tanker exploded in Maryland. The truck crashed and caught fire before it eventually exploded. Marian Williamson, a self-help author, has announced that she's running for the 2024 Democratic nomination. The author ran for the White House back in 2020, too. She's 70 years old and first rose to prominence when working with Oprah Winfrey. Volunteers are now working to rescue farm animals after flooding in Malaysia has forced close to 40,000 people from their homes. The floods were brought on by days of strong rains. Officials there say at least four people have died. 70 baby weed sea dragons have been delivered to an aquarium in La Jolla. Each is less than an inch long and weighs less than a gram. They'll eventually be more than a foot long. The aquarium says the dragons are very difficult to breed and they will not be on display for the public during their adolescence. And the Capitol Beer Fest was held today in Sacramento. More than 115 breweries from all over the United States were on hand for sold out event sampling. The rain did not keep the crowds away. 7,000 tickets were sold in total. And that's a look at your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.